Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center. Today we have an Apple Watch Series 6 that needs a new back. And of course, David is going to be here with us to do the repair. So let's go. So this time you're going to see the difference between the old one and the new one. This is a broken back of an Apple Watch. And of course, this is a new one. We're going to swap both parts. So we're going to be very careful when removing this display of this Apple Watch Series 6. And of course, we also have to remember that the housing is in pristine condition. Maybe the the user or the client has dropped this on the back and it's shattered the part and of course it's not going to be able to charge the device and of course uh, other functions such as heart monitoring is also disabled once that hardware component is broken so we're going to remove that and replace it with a new one we're going to detach the connectors for the display and it's gonna be two of them usually and the older models of the Apple Watch they have three different cables routed to two different connectors here we're gonna peel them off slowly because of course we're still gonna reuse them later on it's gonna be fiddly and of course really small so uh, you have to be very careful not to damage some cables along the way and David here is, here is very brave using some sharp blades and of course uh, other tools to agitate the adhesives without doing much damage to the device here we're gonna also peel off some of them and then put that to the side that's a working display and we're gonna put them on this piece of paper I'm just gonna temporarily hold them here this is kind of a sticker paper that shiny one so they're gonna be sticking to this one for now it's important not to short them because they're directly connected to the battery and the battery is also is still connected we're gonna remove that next we also gonna be removing the taptic engine of course the battery is very small so it's very dense so if you're wondering why your Apple watch needs a, bat a battery recharge every night then this is gonna be the answer it's just a portion of that whole housing we're going to remove the Taptic engine. And of course, a lot of small screws. And now we can see the bottom layer if we're starting from the display. So, if you're planning to do your own Apple Watch repair, of course, you know, if you want to do your uh, battery replacement or screen replacement then maybe you should think twice because it's going to be a very costly repair once you damage some of these cables and of course if you damage some parts that are not damaged at the first place now we're going to see the removal of the back glass now it's now revealed the bottom part of the Apple Watch. We're gonna put some liquid glue here. As you can see here, David is very adept in just handling this problem overall. And here he's gonna install the new one. So of course it's gonna be needing some parts from the old one and then we're just gonna transplant everything and reverse what we had done so far we're gonna connect them 
once attached it's gonna be just pressed down it's gonna be staying in place and everything it's in reverse order so if you have a problem with your Apple watch if you dropped it on the face or the back David has the solution for you he's got the parts that you need and of course the expertise do the repairs that other repair shops will not and could not do if you go to Apple without your warranty and then just ask them to fix this uh, to do this fix then you're just gonna be recommended to they're just gonna recommend that you buy a new Apple watch just just how Apple operates but here we love the environment and we love saving money so we're just gonna replace the broken part and keep the rest here is the Taptic engine engine going in and a lot of the parts is already gone in and that's a good sign David is not also forgot one screw so that's a very reassuring testament of his expertise on repairing even the smallest devices I've seen David fix some GoPros before so his uh, expertise is very very wide but primarily he specializes on uh, smartphones like Samsung's and iPhones we also do mail-in repair services so if you can not do a walk-in you can visit us here in the shop we can fix your smartphone uh, that you sent to us by a mail and then once we're done fixing it we're just gonna send it back to you working and already fixed here we're gonna test if it's charging or even turning on we're gonna clean the back glass David is still not seeing anything so maybe this is gonna be a fail we'll see another charger and then boom it's already fixed and it's in pairing mode so maybe the owner has already reset this so it's their own problem now but for us we've already done our job David has done a very clean job overall the display is pristine the aluminum casing is also very clean I'm just gonna clean it some more and then we're gonna be giving it to the client so thanks for joining guys don't forget to like and subscribe we'll see you again next time cheers if you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price you may contact Sydney CBD repair center we also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.